Okay, hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video of Game Gun Linux. This time around I am playing Kill the Bad Guy, which I recently got, well recently I mean today I got this game on the Humble Bundle uh, sale that is currently on the go. It is basically daily sales, so make sure you go check that out uh, if I upload this video in time. But what we're looking at here is uh, the... Uh, the scoring system of the game, so you get th this is what you're supposed to do every level. Uh, as you can see, I've done the fourth level, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the first level just to make sure I don't screw up badly or anything like that. As you can see, there is a variety of levels here, and you've got certain stars that you get through the level, and even more levels there at the top there. So, this is the first lot of stages, uh, carrying on to the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So this is uh, the Unity engine as well, I uh, thought I may have mentioned that. I do quite like the Unity engine just because uh, on I think all the games uh, they have the settings before you launch the game so you can change the resolution settings and all that stuff and that I really like because uh, on my setup it's a bit funny every now and then, um, especially with my triple screens so usually the resolution for games is uh, very wrong and so can sometimes break <laughs> basically. So, uh, the, the aim of the game is basically in the title, you kill the bad guy. So, as you can see, there is uh, coloured objects in the world. It seems there's a little Better Call Saul uh, reference there. <laughs> there's uh, objects which have colour and uh, they basically are what you use... Um... Oh god, I didn't... There you go. And they are basically what you use throughout the uh, game to kill the bad guy. As you can see there, I, uh, I rigged the car and then set it off to kill him. Uh, when you kill him as well, one of the objectives is the fact that he does tend to lose a tooth. Uh, can you can you change that? Uh, yeah, so maybe you might be able to see it. There's a tooth there, look, and I picked it up uh, so it disappeared. Uh, I did miss a objective, which is a, uh, what is it, find a passport. Every level there does tend to be a passport uh, hidden, uh, so you need to just find it somewhere. It's like, hit, uh, see there, there's a passport there, look. There you go. Okay, so this one, you just grab that, do that, and kabam! Whee! Oh, grab his tooth. Yeah, I got his tooth. Okay, that was done on the first day as well. So it's basically a pretty straightforward game, nice and easy, you only need to use the mouse for it. Um, I, do, I do enjoy them sort of games. As you can see here, the secondary objective, it doesn't tell you what that objective is. You basically just have to figure it out for yourself. Uh, now I'm not too sure what the second secondary objective would be on this uh, level. So the passport's there, that's a look. Maybe if I... Um, Try and get it to land on him or something. I don't want to do that, but I'm thinking maybe you have to cut it from its actual uh, lines for it to kill him or something like that. Try again. Kill the bad guy. Yeah, it's got some pretty cool music as well. Uh, I'm assuming Dil uh, it was made especially for this game. Uh, well, I hope it was anyway. Yeah, I think that was it as well, the secondary objective. As you can see, I use it as a bowling ball, so it seems... Yeah, yeah, so I've completely completed that level. So you just have to use your brains uh, and figure out what the secondary objective will be. As you can see with this one, I haven't got the secondary objective yet. Um, what you can do on this level is you can sort of mix and match certain objects. So as you can see, you click on a rope and it... Uh, pulls up a green arrow and things that you can sort of uh, interact them with. So there you go. Uh, basically, put a rope on the piano. Uh. That didn't work. Where's the piano gun? See here. Uh, ah! There's a tooth. There's a tooth. Yeah, boy. Oh, there's a passport as well. Ah, yeah! <laughs> Uh, I don't know what the secondary objective will be here, though. There you go, dead. I don't know what the second. I'm not going to figure it out because I have no idea. It seems... Yeah, on this one I've already done the secondary objective. But this one's... Uh, it seems to have been a bit harder, actually, because uh, you sort of have to be a bit quicker. 
you got to sort of, well I know where the passport is, it's uh, there. So you can see I've got lighters here. Like that. Boom! Oh, it's Steve! Oh, I forgot it's Steve! Yeah, boy. <laughs> I don't know what the secondary objective is. I'm assuming it's to distract him with one of them and then use the flames on the second one. It's a pretty straightforward game. It's just one of them that you sort of jump into, you already know what you're doing sort of thing. So what I'll do is I'll try uh, this level. I've never done this one before. Okay, so you got... Oh, you can use the keyboard if you want. But they're just for shortcuts, so you don't really need that much. Um, as it seems, I have uh, electrical stuff here. <laughs> God damn it, I missed him. Okay. That'll be a fire hydrant. Sort of. Ah, damn. Okay, so you got to do the fire hydrant first by the looks of it. Okay, so what I can do here as well... Well, I guess if he walks this way, I can just do this. Is that his passport? Yeah, there you go. Got his passport. Ah, he got away this time. Okay, so day two. As you can see, you can go into day two and figure out what the hell's going on sort of thing. As soon as he walks into the water... BOOM! Yeah boy. Where's the passport? Did I already get it this time? It does give you tips as well. Oh wow, I did quite bad. Yeah, I didn't even catch his tooth, God damn it! Did bad then. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Go away. I always get phone calls when I'm recording. Um, but anyway guys, I think that's enough of this video, you sort of understand how to do it. As you can see there's names of the people that you kill as well as you Kim Godcom and Oscar and Bernard and Mohammed and Luciano and so on and so forth. Uh, each one looks like you get, it's harder and harder, there seems to be a lot more stuff you can do on number 10 for example. Uh, and in the end, uh, you got B1, I'm assuming you have to get 30 stars to unlock B1. It shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I think 5, 10, 15, 20. 30. Yeah, so you don't have to 5 star every single level to unlock that. Uh, and also, as you can see here, you do get uh, achievements as well. So, it's quite a few to bring you back into the game. Put a dog on a catapult. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, anyway, guys, uh, I think that's enough for this video. So I'll quit this game. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, rate and subscribe for future Linux content. And peace out, guys. See you later.